Hey everybody, Quint here with Classic Firearms coming at you guys today with Take Aim Training and Range. And it's a nice day guys, it's starting to cool off a little bit. But I figured let's heat things up really quick with some body armor. Whenever I hear affordable body armor, I typically tend to get a little scared because I don't want to cheap out on something that might actually like save my life. Uh, so that's why we've got some product out here today to test out. And Mr. Hand Select has got one polyethylene ceramic plate in him by Guard Dog Body Armor right here. And this is, uh, there you go, Guard Dog Body Armor, a little pit bull, and uh, who loves pit bulls? I do. We've got one. Anyway, so what's cool, first off, anytime we get a chance to showcase any type of local businesses, I'm all about that. Uh, Guard Dog Body Armor ships and manufactures their products right here in the Carolinas, which is super cool, not far from us. And when they said, hey, give this stuff a try, let's see what you think. Well, I said, why not? Let's give it a give it a try, right? Especially whenever you come across something affordable that gives you level four coverage. Level four is supposed to stop up to a 30-06 armor piercing round, which is pretty intense if you ask me. So today, no, we don't have any armor piercing ammunition, unfortunately, uh, but today I'm gonna try some of the most popular calibers and see if we can defeat these plates, all right? So first off, I'll let you guys go ahead and get a little bit more information right there. If you guys do are looking for more information about their products, check out gdbodyarmor.com. But hopefully uh, you guys can just go straight to classicfirearms.com and pick you up a couple of plates right after we shoot this here in just a moment. So speaking of guard dog, got one barking in the back. <laughs> Anyway, uh, level four coverage. I'm pretty excited about this. These plates are coming in at about six and a half pounds. They are, they have that sappy cut and everything to them, which is nice. You got that, that curve to it, which is super nice uh, because it conforms a little bit more to the body, which is comfortable. Uh, there's definitely still plate options out there, but what's neat about the polyurethane is the fact that it eliminates the need for a uh, spall liner. So you'll notice, w notice with steel armor, when that bullet makes impact, there's fragmentation. What you need to prevent that fragmentation is what's called a spall liner, where it catches all of that fragmentation. And instead of it going outward or upward or downward into the shooter, or into the person being shot at, it catches all of that, right? Now, there's definitely advantages to both. However, we're here to see if this uh, guard dog body armor stands a chance. So like I said, we've got one of these plates already in one of our modular armor carriers that Mr. Hanslack's wearing. Let's go ahead, I've got multiple different targets, if you will, uh, the white spray paint on there. Let's go ahead and try out just our standard 115 grain nine mil out of my Beretta M9A3. Fioki ammo here, and let's just see if it penetrates. Let's go for that top left right there, and let's go take a look. All right, so dropped it a little low right here. I'm showing nothing in the back here, and actually I'm just gonna go ahead and undo this here. So the good news is it didn't penetrate which is exactly what we're looking for. See nothing happening back here. That's just some paint because I just freshly painted him. Guys, Mr. Hanselect's looking a little rough here. I think we'd have to order a few more Mr. Hanselects. Uh, let us know how you think we should finish him off because I don't think he's gonna have too many more shots left. Anyway, I've got nothing back here. Great, let's step it up some. So I've also got my let's go 762 by 39 what about it? i got it sitting right here i've got a uh, zastava this is right here their zpap 92 tactical this thing is pretty sweet adjustable brace on it uh, you got your quad rail on it. it even comes with the angled foregrip which is pretty nice and this mean brake i've got one round of 762 by 39 122 grain so let's go ahead and give this guy a shot let's go for that top right and let's just see how this does Did you guys see that flash? That flash is awesome. All right, we're clear on this guy now. Let's see how we did. Especially at only about 10, 15 feet. Ooh, getting a lot of muzzle energy here. All right, so it's already got one shot of nine mil, one shot of 7.62 by 39. Nothing on the back. So far, so good, guys. And once we get done doing this basic one-shot test, uh, we will go ahead and take the plate out and just see how tore up it is. You know, destroying stuff's pretty fun, I tell you guys. All right, now let's move on to something a little bit quicker. 
How about some AO59, or that's the Dodic, excuse me, uh, M855. We got some green tips, 62 grain here with a short barreled rifle. Now, what you guys will notice too, on the shorter barrels, we're not gonna develop as much velocity. So when we get into the longer barrels, such as the 16 inch standard rifles that we have laying out here, we might see a little bit different in outcome. But let's just go ahead and give it a shot here with the Mark 18. Just installed the new Geisley uh, single stage precision trigger, or new to me at least, pretty excited about that. Let's go for the bottom left, how about it? All right, great. Let's see how that, how that withstands it here. Looks like I hit dead center there on the, well, dead center for the, you know, circle. <laughs> oh man. All right, so it held up against a 62 grain green tip. Again, that's only out of a 10 and a half inch barrel though. We'll see what happens when we step it up, but let's go ahead and step it up now to a 16 inch. Let me grab this one round here, 16 inch AK. So again, 762 by 39. Let's just see how this goes for it. Mr. Hand Select, I'm cheering for you. Let's go to the right, bottom right. Let's take one shot and see. Oh yeah, nice. All right, lay this guy back down. Shooting stuff is fun. Shooting stuff that's supposed to be impenetrable is even more fun. Oh yeah, I'm starting to notice some deformation here. Oh yeah, I can feel something happening in there. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, I think that plate's starting to come apart on us, but it stopped the bullet. Mr. Hand Select is still doing okay, at least for this session. All right, now let's try a 16 inch 5.56 right in the middle there. So again, some more green tip. Got one more round here. Classic firearms mag, naturally. All right, and let me know down in the comments if you're able to snag one of these ACOGs. Woo. All right, let's give it a shot here, right in the middle. All right. Dang, that thing feels good. Oh man, let's see. I think I'm either way to the left here. Let's just take a look. Uh, nope, that's just the uh, stitches there. So guys, I'm not seeing anything happening here. Impressive. All right, so before we step it up any further, let's go ahead and just take this guy out. Let's just see what's happening here. You can see there's the bullets traveling. It's, it's actually kind of warm. <laughs> All right, I think that might just be from... Oh yeah, so check a look at this. So you can see where that ceramic is catching those bullets and breaking apart. Pretty crazy. All right, let's keep on going here. Yeah, it is warm. Wow, that's pretty wild. Oh man, yeah, it is just falling apart. But the good news, like I said, is uh, it hasn't penetrated or been penetrated. All of this right here, Mr. Hand Select is doing all right. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see here. So this thing has got all sorts of straps to hold the plate in, by the way. So if you're curious about some armor carriers or plate carriers, these work out. There's all sorts of Velcro retention in here, which is pretty nice. So it keeps that plate nice and snug. Ooh. All right, so let's take a look really quick. Take a look at that. Wow, so you can see where the copper jacket here got stuck, got caught on it. Oh yeah, so it definitely is breaking apart on us, but again, let's take a look at the backside. <laughs> Unscathed, pretty impressive there. Now, let's see, let's just go for one shot. I'm just gonna lay it on the ground here. One shot right above it. Don't we got an FAL laying around? Let's see what one shot of 308 point blank range will do to it. By the way, the DS Arms Improved Battle Rifle, this thing's pretty sweet. And you guys can only imagine what we're probably gonna do with this guy. All right, one shot right here. Let's go for, what do you guys say, right there? Let's go for right there, how about it? That blew it up. All right, let's go and take that guy out here. I'll grab that guy in a second. But did it penetrate? Nope, you can definitely see a bulge there, but it did not penetrate. And this plate is taking some serious hit, guys. I mean, when you think about it, it's already compromised because, well, it's been shot at a lot. So up here, I can't imagine that you do all that great. Let's just see what happens if I shoot right here that has lost most of its ceramic. Let's see if 115 grain nine mil can penetrate that. And let's move the uh, FA out. 
out from downrange, how about it? And let's just see what a nine mil will do to that guy. All right, so right there, let's actually move a piece of that ceramic out of the way. Okay. I am actually kind of impressed by that. You can definitely see some deformation. It's bulged, but it stopped 115 grain nine mil. That is impressive. All right. Okay, you know what? Let's step it up just one more notch here. I've really put this thing through the test and uh, I actually thought I was gonna need to use those other two plates to see what it could stop, uh, but it's done multiple shots now of each caliber, except for the 308. Let's step it up to 300 Win Mag. <laughs> And uh, same thing, I'm just gonna shoot in this nice little open area right over here. And let's just see if it'll stop a 300 wind mag at literally point blank range. And we've got our current giveaway that we're working with a donut operator and Premier Body Armor with. And let's just try this guy out. So it's a soft point, so maybe that'll give us a little bit of a benefit here. Uh, at this range too, I'm just gonna go off base of what the barrel is located because it's hide over bore everything else right now. But anyway, woo. all right, 300 wind mag, nice up and close and personal. <laughs> that may have done it, guys. No, I don't think it did. It broke through the back, but I don't think it actually penetrated. Look, that right there, I think, I think is the actual soft tip of the bullet. So it, it defeated it, but it still stopped it. I don't, th I don't think the actual the bullet actually came out from what I can tell. That is impressive. I think, guys, wow. I mean, most of the bullet I think just disintegrated, but yeah, that is pretty impressive. Again, for, like I said before, affordable body armor, I always get a little hesitant when I hear that, but I think uh, Guard Dog Body Armor here really did a great job with these level four ceramic polyurethane plates. Six and a half pounds, pretty nice. Uh, granted, giving you le level four protection, that's, that's still pretty lightweight, I think. So yeah, color me impressed. i uh, be completely honest with you guys, I wasn't expecting this type of result. Uh, yeah, and if that penetrated, we would definitely see a lot more of an exit wound here. Like, like I said, I think that right there is actually from the little bit I was pulling out the uh, soft tip of the 300 Win Mag cartridge. That is pretty impressive, guys. So if you are in the market for some body armor, go ahead and check out Guard Dog Body Armor, guys. I, uh, I feel comfortable saying I would wear it for sure. All right, so uh, especially when it's local like that right here in North Carolina, always happy to sport that. Oh man, impressive stuff. All right guys, so let me know, <laughs> I think we might keep that as a souvenir. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do we need to do another test? Maybe I should find some armor piercing, see how that holds up, right? But uh, like I said, I feel pretty comfortable with this, taking multiple shots in different locations. And uh, even if it's something after it's already been defeated, uh, which then again, we haven't actually seen it be defeated. Uh, you know what? All right, one more. Let's just go one more with the uh, FAL, since I've still got a couple of rounds loaded up here. And because I really want to shoot this FAL some more. Let's just see, move this guy back. Just let's see if I can get through this thing. All right, put it on safe here. There we go, I can see through it now. I can see through it, but I'm not convinced. All right. That, that uh, definitely blew the bottom part out. <laughs> but still not penetrated. So multiple shots with 308, 300 wind mag, 556, 762 by 39, nine mil. This guy's done a good job. So yeah, again, color me pretty impressed. All right. I think I feel comfortable ending the video there and saying, guys, if you are looking for affordable body armor, check out Guard Dog Body Armor on our website. That's pretty cool stuff. Last thing I wanna talk about 
is this guy, the one that I just shot here. This is our current giveaway. This guy right here is the Nemo Omen chambered in 300 wind mag. We've partnered up with Donut Operator and also Premier Body Armor, also local, love those guys. And they're giving away something new as well. They've got level three plates, polyurethane plates, that uh, only weigh three, three and a half pounds. Pretty impressive stuff. They're also giving away one of their already level 3A uh, protected Eagle vest. So now you're getting the level 3 body armor on top of the level 3A vest in a giveaway with Donut Operator. He's giving away a signed skateboard. He got one of these rifles because, well, he needed a long range gun. Pretty cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, I am definitely loving this platform. 300 Win Mag Semi Auto AR. Yeah. Definitely, thank you. Trigicon 3 to 18 by 44, what they call their 10 mile scope. It does come with the Zeiss rings on it as well and the worn bipod. That thing is, it's nice. Oh yeah, guys. So head on over to classicfirearms.com. Again, check out all of our body armor options. Check out the Nemo lineup. And uh, as always guys, God bless you. We'll see you soon.